Hi, I'm Rob the Ranger. And I'm Duncan, and welcome to Duncan's Differences. Today we're going to talk about the differences between a white rhino and a black rhino. And you might think that one's white, one's black. But it's not like that. They're actually both grey, so we're going to have to look at other differences between a white and a black rhino. Number one, the mouth. The white rhino's mouth is flat, square for eating grass, and the proper name of it is the square-lipped rhino. And the black rhino has a triangular top lip, much more rounded mouth, and it uses its lip to pull the branches into its mouth so that it can eat the small twigs and leaves. And its proper name is a hook-lipped rhino. Okay. Number two, the shape. The white rhino has a head that points downwards so that it can get to the grass. Then it has a very, very big shoulder. And then you'll see a curved back with a slight hump just before the hips and then a rounded bum. The black rhino's head points forward so it can get to the trees. It has small shoulders, curved back, and you can see that on bum. Number three, the horns. The black rhino's horns are similar in size and rounded at the base. And the white rhino has one large horn, one small horn, a little bit more squarish in shape as well. Okay, number four, the ears. The white rhino has quite big ears with pointy tips. The black rhino has more rounded edges to its ears. Number five, the footprints. The white rhino's footprints are fairly large, about 22 centimetres long. There's a hoof at the front and a toe at each side. And at the back, it has a very large indentation, making a big W for white. The black rhino's footprints are small, more rounded, it has no W, and it has the, the hoof and the toes. Number six, the poo. The poo? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. The poo. The white rhino's poo comes out green and it turns to black and it has grass in it. And the black rhino has yellowish dung that dries to a brown colour. And the black rhino's dung has lots of little twigs in it. Each of those little twigs has got a little angled edge on the end, as you can see in the picture. Those angled edge are caused by the teeth when it bites into the branch to pull the twig off. The brownness of the dung is caused by the tannins in the wood that it eats. There you go. Now you know the differences between a black rhino and a white rhino. Thank you very much for joining me, Duncan. That was brilliant. You're welcome. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share with all those other things. All those other things. Leave us a comment at the bottom if you want us to do more videos like this, let us know. Thank you very much. See you next time.